Let's take a couple minutes to talk about elections and grading papers. One of the things I loved about grad school so much was grading papers. You assign the same question to 30 people and they all write a pretty similar answer. And it's on you, the grader, to notice the differences and the subtleties in the nuances in those answers in order to put them in some kind of order. To do that, you have to know what's important about the reading, the thesis of their, their argument, and all of the little moving parts that need to happen for that argument to, to sort of cook off. There is a temptation to look at these 30 or 50 or 100 papers and say, well, they're all essentially the same. And essentially, they are the same. They're, they're, they're constructed that way. But individually, they're always different. We have a word for papers that are exactly the same, and it's plagiarism. Political parties work in the same way. They all have to contend with the same issues and try and identify the same issues and put together policies that address them. The advantage of being a political party is they can crib from other people, but ultimately they need to put together a policy package that is consistent with their core values or what they say their core values are, uh, that's consistent with their, the values of their voters, right? the people that they want to vote for them, whoever that group of people is or those groups. Let's not represent voters as a huge, massive block. Uh, and we're going to bracket a giant conversation about how those are also going to reflect the values of donors and lobbying groups uh, that contribute to that party. Now there's an election going on right now in our province and there's a lot of discourse about how the parties seem the same. We're in the process of probably replacing a long-standing government and that'll mean a huge shift in direction for the province. One of the things about being a grader is it's a skill. You can't look at a set of 50 papers and say they're all the same. Even if you read them all three times, you have to be able to identify the nuance and the differences there. And sometimes that can be really hard, but it is essential to being a good grader. And it can feel the same way for political parties. Here in Canada, we have about four major political parties and a bunch of little tiny ones. And it can feel like, oh, well, they're all the same. But even parties that are close together often have uh, nuanced divisions, and it's worth looking into those because you only get to pick one. Because it involves winning and losing rather than ranking, it can also be really demoralizing if your party loses constantly, um, or even a bit, uh, and that results in, in policies that don't reflect your values. There's a temptation to say, these are people in power, people in power do whatever they want. And whenever I have that feeling, I think that the worst thing a public can do is let them. So I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I'm going to link a bunch of platforms down below. And I'm going to suggest that it would be a good idea to go and vote. Not voting is a totally valid option. And it also speaks to things about our political system. But it's worth a reminder that the smaller an election is, right, now federal, provincial, municipal, etc., the more likely it is to affect your personal life. So the smaller an election is, the higher a stake you have in it. Yeah, read up, pay attention to details, get out or make an informed decision not to, and most importantly, stay awesome. Also, don't vote conservative. Their platform is trash.